Not one day. We can't have a single day. We can't just have one easy evening. Not even one. Just me, my meatballs, my spaghetti. Nope. Louisville basketball. The news cycle never ends. There's always some kind of nonsense that's going to happen. Let's talk about it. What's cooking, guys? Welcome back in ESPN Louisville Plus. My name is Justin Sofro. If you don't know already, do me a favor before we get this thing rolling. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, hit that freaking bell button, bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. We are trying to pump out a daily video or some kind of content each and every single day here on the cycle on this new platform for ESPN Louisville, ESPN Louisville Plus. Yesterday, we had a lot of fun. Of course, we had guys uh, tune in for the watch along Louisville uh, as they did what Louisville basketball does under Kenny Payne against Virginia. It was a um, it was it was painful. It was masochistic, if if I will be honest. All right, let's just get into the comments of what exactly were we told by the University of Louisville in the press release uh, released by Zach Greenwell. Uh, in the comments, it said, Freshman Center, Dennis Evans will not be medically cleared to compete at the University of Louisville moving forward. We are disappointed by the news and will not be releasing any additional information out of respect for Dennis's privacy. I also saw it end up following up when, when asked if Evans is still part of the program. Greenwell said he is. UofL will honor his scholarship if he wishes to continue his studies at the university, but he can no longer work out or compete with its men's basketball team. Uh, this, is a, this is one of those moments, and this is why I have to tread carefully, because obviously in any situation like this, my mind where it should go to, the spot where I feel like um, any truth and honesty should be held in. And when I read those comments, I hear this is a serious medical condition that Dennis Evans is going is going to be dealing with or he is currently dealing with. My mind where I go back to is what was it, 2008, maybe before that, 2006, eight, something, something along those lines. And I go to Clarence Holloway, who played for the University of Louisville. If you all weren't around then, if you don't remember, Clarence Holloway uh, suffered from a serious heart condition. He ended up having to have a heart transplant carried out at the University of Louisville. His basketball career was done. It was over. This is something that uh, I think a lot of big men, uh, tall guys, not big men like me, <laughs> but tall men, uh, end up sometimes struggling with and you see uh, the difficulties that can come with having uh, the larger frame and all that goes along with that. That's why I want to be careful when I say this, because I, I don't, you know, the difficult, the difficulty that comes with a lot of these reports and especially being the situation of the university and the basketball team now is the problem that I continue to have in the back of my mind is Karan Davis, the Karan Davis situation, the way that was handled, uh, the comments that were made by um, the university and statements put out through the coaching staff. This is all conducted and held by the coaching staff. I, at this point, I almost want to even like separate the two entities, the university and the coaching staff, because the way they can, the way that the coaching staff has handled a lot of things during their time here in the last year and a half and the way that the university typically likes to handle things seem to be on different footing. But, you know, when they're employed, they are the representatives of the university. So that 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 is what it is. I just want to be careful the way I say that. Overall, the way that you've handled it and you've handled the Cron Davis situation and the quote unquote rumors, the quote unquote allegations, whatever you want to call them, the whole situation that was handled, how that, you know, all the narrative, the I don't want to, you know, want to protect his privacy. I want to protect uh, Coron Davis. He's not in trouble. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. Mm, we know what happened. We don't know what happened. We, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's why I have difficulty. I think Josh Hurd made the comment of uh, making small deposits. Deposits. Because this coaching staff has not made small deposits throughout the season, I have a hard time. Now I question every comment, every uh, news report, every statement that's put out there. Now I have to go in, this, in a situation like this when it comes with Dennis Evans that I feel like I should be right now. I don't know, all, I, which I am worried and caring about this kid and his health and his situation moving forward in life. I, I don't know if that's the series is that's the case. And obviously that's what happens when you don't release information, when you're not transparent, if it is, you know, anything, um, health related, obviously he deserves those privacies, but if it's something else, something different, um, 
typically that's something that's released. This is also a situation where usually if somebody's basketball career ends somewhere, you get some kind of information. The one thing we do know, last time we saw Dennis Evans was obviously against Bellarmine, November 29th. It's been over a month since he's played. He played in seven games at the beginning of the season. Saw some, saw some flashes of good, saw some bad. It, it comes with, be, with being a freshman. Again, difficult situation, especially after you lose Trenton Flowers, you now are now without your top two um, you know, freshman recruits that you had coming to the University of Louisville. And really, at this point, not that he had a lot to stand on. Kenny Payne and this coaching staff has even less to lean on against right now. We can talk about today's sponsor, and that is Dash Clip. They are a local brand started by local um, men that are working to better the health of mental and the mental state of men in the Louisville area, as well as one of the coolest things about their product is I really just love uh, the high quality of it, the, the feel of what you get. So Dash Clip is what we have today. It is a wallet slash, um, I think they're called card ejectors. And the way that they do this is one thing that I, I, you, you've seen different options. You've seen all the different wallets. My granddad had this thing where every year he would give me a wallet for Christmas. The problem is they're bulky. They're uncomfortable. How many men do you see wear wallets like in their back pocket that often anymore? I don't like to do it because one, I'm a big guy and I realized that it was messing up my spine and you put it in the back pocket there and it offsets you and gets you off kilter a little bit. It's uncomfortable with these wallets. They're, they're slim. They're, they're, Really, really slick, and they're made of really good, uh, good material too. But they also can fit in the front pocket. They can take your, um, your cards, all your IDs, anything like that, will fit here in the card ejector, as well as you can also get any IDs, and you can fit all your cash right here in the clip. Really small, really form functional, and you can fit it right here in the front pocket, and you are good to go. They're one of my favorite things. If you haven't already, check out Dash Clip at the Dash Clip dot com today. It's difficult because you just have to come up with scenarios in your own mind to try to justify what is happening. Any other situation, any other moment in time, University of Louisville, anywhere else that I've ever seen, a, a guy ends up being removed, you know, no longer part of a basketball team, no longer part of a football team. You get some kind of reasoning. Either you hear or you 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 know that there's a, a serious health issue. Hey, because of this health issue, though, right now, the reason he's been out is because we were told that he had a what was that, a, his left shoulder or whatever injury that, that's been going on. That usually isn't something unless he had to have <laughs> unless he had to have the arm removed or whatever it was. I have no idea why why that. That would keep him um, from further pursuing sports. I don't know. It could be it could be a multitude of reasons. We don't know. We do not have those answers. Uh, but at the same time, when you're not being transparent, that's what happens. So again, that's why my mind starts to wonder and starts to wander when we just had what we experienced with the Karan Davis situation, with the nonsense there. Here we go once again. Is this another issue? Is, a, is it a player issue? Is it a staff issue? What is it? Where do we go from here? And again, I think a lot of us just feel like how I feel right now and just are ready for the circus to be over. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below if you could. Uh, I, I want to know what you guys are thinking. How are you feeling about the situation? Um, <laughs> Or is it just another brick in the wall? Is that what it is? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, if you haven't already, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. Again, we're going to do more and more content on ESPN Louisville Plus. New stuff. Uh, we're going to have just fun, nonsensical stuff, watch alongs, anything like that. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you all next time.